Today we are going to discuss the vector of atrial depolarization and repolarization or the P wave and atrial T wave. So far we have discussed the depolarization, repolarization and vector analysis for depolarization and repolarization of the ventricles. Today we are going to discuss the same thing for the atria. Now atria they are present on top of the ventricles. So when the depolarization starts initially the, the sinus node basically starts the depolarization but depolarization process in the ventricles was very much fast in speed because of the presence of Purkinje fibers. But in the case of atria, there are no Purkinje fibers. So the speed of depolarization of the atria is very much slow. So at this very point, the, at the point where uh, when a cava are located, here we have the sinus node and it starts a spark of depolarization or electric impulse. And that depolarization starts spreading into the atria. But the speed of this depolarization process is very slow. So by the time this depolarization has reached here at the end of the atria, repolarization process has started from the top. So in this process, the whole of the process, the depolarization process is in this, this, this direction, in the direction of the septum and the vector formed on this, the vector formed in this condition, if its analysis is done on three bipolar limb lead, it will give a positive deflection on all the bipolar limb lead, on the lead one, the lead two and lead three. And it will be considered as P wave. And it will be very small in, uh, it will be very uh, much small as compared to the QRS complex. Because the atria, the musculature of the atria is very much small as compared to the ventricle. As far as the repolarization or the T wave of the atria or the atrial T wave is concerned because the repolarization process of the atria starts in the same place where depolarization started. Therefore, therefore, one area is undergoing depolarization while this area has started becoming a repolarization or it has started getting repolarized. So the repolarization vector, the repolarization vector is basically present in the reverse direction. In the ventricles, we discussed, in the ventricles, we discussed that the depolarization wave, basically it moved and it changed its direction. But the repolarization wave in the ventricle was pretty much in the same direction. It was not in the opposite direction. But in the atria, this vector, this vector of repolarization is in the opposite form because repolarization has started from the same place. But in the case of ventricle, the depolarization process started in the septum but repolarization did not start from the septum, rather it started from the apex. So the vector was located from the positive side toward the negative side. But in case of the atria, it has started from the same place. So the direction of vector, the direction of vector is from the negative toward the positive and it is opposite in direction. It, uh, it has an opposite direction as compared to the vector of repolarization vector of the ventricles and if it is plotted on the bipolar limb lead it will generate a T wave which will be negative. If we plot this vector on all bipolar limb lead we will see that it will have a good shadow on lead 2, a lead 2 and lead 1 but on uh, lead 3, on lead 3 Basically, its shadow, its shadow will be very much small. So the, the P wave shadow and the T wave of the atria has very small shadow on the lead 3. Now, considering this thing, that why the at, atrial T wave is not basically seen in ECG? It's because the, the time at which the T wave appear, the atrial T wave appear, at that time, the ventricular QRS complex is basically being recorded. 
so the atrial T wave get mixed somewhere here and it is not basically shown on the normal ECG strip sometimes in some abnormal conditions the T wave or the the T wave of the atria or the atrial T wave or the repolarization wave of the atria get seen on ECG paper but normally it is not seen because it get mixed because it occurs at a time when QRS complex or the atrial depolarization is occurring. So that's a simple and easy lecture about the P wave and the atrial T wave. So to summarize it again, depolarization of the atria starts in the sinus node, but the depolarization process is spreading very slowly. And by the time the depolarization process has reached the end of the atria, the repolarization has started again and the vector is in the positive direction. But when repolarization of the atria starts, it starts from the same place where the depolarization starts as compared to the ventricular repolarization where it started in the opposite side. So the atrial repolarization wave is vector is basically in the opposite form and if it is plotted on the bipolar limb lead it will give a negative deflection it will basically be giving a negative or opposite wave it will be giving an uh, some sort of vector will which will be opposite in direction to the normal vector so when if when if it is plotted if it is plotted on the bipolar limb lead it will give a negative deflection but the deflection will be seen more on the lead one and lead two and it will have a very small impact it will have a very much small impact on the lead three so that's all about the atrial p and t wave thanks a lot for watching the video